According to a recent study, REITs are currently priced at a 28% discount to the net asset values. This essentially means that you get to buy real estate at roughly 70 cents on the dollar. And that's just the average of the REIT sector. Quite a few of the smaller and lesser known REITs are today priced at 40, 50 or even 60% discounts to the net asset values. REITs are so cheap because the market got fearful over the surging interest rate and the high inflation. But I think that as we eventually get this inflation back under control, interest rates will also return to lower levels, the market narrative will then shift to something else and REITs will recover. The interesting thing here is that if your REIT is priced at just 50 cents on the dollar, just to return to its net asset value its share price would need to double. Now obviously the value of the buildings that REITs own might come down a bit as cap rates expand but they are so heavily discounted that they will still have a lot of upside from here and if you look a few years out into the future the rents will have also risen, cash flow will be higher than today and so so even taking into account some cap rate expansion, some of these REITs could even double from here. But which REITs present the most upside potential today? Hey everyone, this is Yossi, I run an investment firm that specializes in REIT investing and in today's video I'm gonna highlight three REITs that have the potential to double over the coming years. Make sure to stick till the end of this video because the third REIT is potentially the one with the most upside potential of these three. And before I get into it, if you could still like this video, it will help me a lot. Thank you very much. So the first REIT that I want to talk to you about is called BSR REIT, its sticker symbol is HOM.U in Canada. And and BSRTF in the US. It's currently priced at around $13 per share, but its net asset value per share is around $22, which means that the discount to NAV is right around 40%. This would leave you thinking that the REIT is going through some major difficulties that has declining cash flow, declining property values, but this isn't the case here. BSR is a Canadian REIT that owns a portfolio of apartment communities in rapidly growing Texan markets. Most of its properties are located in Dallas, in Houston and Austin, and as I'm sure you know, these markets have been enjoying some of the fastest growth in the entire United States over the past years, and this is because a lot of companies have been moving from California to Texas, they brought a lot of jobs with them, and then people follow jobs, even Tesla moved to Texas, and so this has pushed a lot of people to move there, it has led to rapid rent growth. Last year, BSR's communities grew the same property NOI by right around 13%. This growth is now slowing down in 2020 but still remains solid in the mid single digit. The REIT also has a strong balance sheet with a 35% loan to value. It has a strong management team that has a high insider ownership. The interests are well aligned between the managers and shareholders. They're actually buying back shares at the moment to take advantage of their low valuation. So if you now assume that the company is going to grow its cash flow by around 5 to 10% annually over the next three years, at the same time interest rates eventually return to lower levels, the market sentiment of the company recovers, its valuation gets back closer to its net asset value, you could see the company's share price double from here. While you wait, you also earn a 4% dividend yield, which is quite attractive considering that they have a very low dividend payout ratio at around 60%. The dividend is also paid monthly and it's growing. Please note that I just recently shared an exclusive interview of BSR's CEO at Hyatt Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter, and you can read it for free with a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description of this video if you're interested to learn more. Now the second read I want to talk to you about is called Alexandria Real Estate, ticker symbol ARE. Its current share price is around $120, but we estimate that its net asset value per share is closer to $200. So once again, here you have a discount to an AV of right around 40%. Alexandria, just like BSR, is a high quality REIT with good assets, a strong balance sheet, and a great management team with a strong track record. And so this is not a REIT going through some major challenges that would justify this low valuation. It's just that, again, this is a REIT and REITs are heavily discounted and its market sentiment is really low. Alexandria is actually what you would typically describe as a blue chip REIT because it has high growth assets Assets. It's mainly invested in life science buildings and its rents are today deeply below market and it allows it to bump up its rents very significantly as leases expire. Last year it was able to hike rents by about 20% and we expect more of the same in 2023. It also has a very strong balance sheet with a triple B plus credit rating and it has long debt maturities at 13 years. The company has historically been able to grow by 5 to 10% per year roughly and this has allowed it to outperform 
most streets and even the SAP 500 and major companies like Walmart even. I think that the company is going to keep growing at 5 to 10 percent per year over the coming three years and then if on top of that you expect its share price to recover closer to its net asset value you could again double your money here. The dividend yield of the company is also now around 4% which is the highest in five years for the company. Now the third and final company that I want to discuss here is called Vonovia. Its sticker symbol is VNA. Please note that this actually isn't officially structured as a rate because rates in Germany are not allowed to own apartment communities but it functions as one. It's essentially the same thing. Its latest share price is 17 euros but its net asset value is today estimated to be around 57 euros. So here the discount to NAV is a lot larger than even for BSR and Alexandria. The discount is closer to 70%. This would mean that the share price would need to more than triple to get back to its net asset value. But realistically, I think that its net asset value is going to come down a bit as cap rates expand in Germany. And so expecting 50 to 100% upside from here is more realistic. Why is it priced at such a low valuation? So Vonovia is actually the biggest landlord in Europe. It owns over 500,000 apartments units mainly in Germany but also some elsewhere in Europe in Sweden and Austria. The valuation of the company is so incredibly low because interest rates have recently surged, the company has a lot of leverage and the market fears that Bonovia won't be able to sell its properties to handle its debt maturities and this could lead to significant issues down the line. I've explained in a separate video that I will link somewhere on the screen why I'm not so concerned and to make it short the company has well staggered debt maturities, its debt is still relatively low relative to the value of its assets, uh, Vonovia is also able to divide some of its apartment communities to resell them in the form of condos with a significant value uplift. I also think that there is still a lot of demand from institutional investors for this type of assets and even if Vonovia had to sell some at a discount to its current NAV it still would be a win for shareholders because its share price is so heavily discounted. I'll keep it short here because I'm currently working on a separate video on Vonovia so make sure to subscribe to this channel to not miss it but in short I think that Vonovia is likely to announce some major property dispositions in the coming quarters. It will allow it to pay back some of its debt maturities of 2023 and 2024. This is going to help the market sentiment of the company it will lead to a recovery in its share price. Even if it just doubled from here, Vonovia would still be priced at a heavy discount to its net asset value and while you wait to earn here a 5% dividend yield. Now if you want to learn more about what else I'm buying in today's market, feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description and otherwise if you could please like this video, subscribe to the channel, it will help me a lot. Thank you very much, bye-bye.